Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we're going to look at the Naked Grouse. So, as I kind of said in the previous uh, whiskey review of Noble Oak, um, Naked Grouse is a a group effort by the Edrington Group, which, as I said, they kind of are famous for McAllen Scotch and... Um, and uh, uh, quite a few other brand names as well. Uh, and then also Beam Suntory. So from what I found, so I could be wrong about this, but when I did my research, it said that the Naked Grouse was a compilation by uh, Famous Grouse, which was owned by Errington, and then um, and then uh, the Beam Suntory. So if that's wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a blended, blended malt, I believe. Blended malt scotch. Uh, 43% ABV, so it is 86 proof. Um, so I really love the bottle. So the bottle has a grouse on it, but it's the naked grouse. I don't know if you can see that. So it's imprinted into the glass, and that's really talk about like the most minimal labeling that you could possibly do. I'd say this bottle has it. Um, has a little bit of a sherry cask uh finish to it and uh let's see is matured in first fill oloroso sherry oak casks um which there you go that'll be adding to the goodness of this um let's get into it so if you've watched on my other channels on bit shoot or life and whiskey if you watch any of the videos about scotch and the different regions of Scotland, and also the different terminology related to scotch. So this says blended malt scotch. So it is a blend of different uh, single malt whiskeys. Um, so there you go. Ooh, on the nose, it is just all sorts of malty sweetness. Um, I always talk about how scotch has that very characteristic scotch smell. That tends to be the malt coming forward. And all I get all day long is just sweet malt. A little hint of honey, a little bit of fruit on the very, very back end of it. But that malt is just screaming out of this glass. Very sweet, very sweet. <clears throat> has a very nice full rounded nose. I mean, it's all sweetness coming out of the glass, but it's just very fragrant. <clears throat> On the palate, the palate is just that sweet malt forward goes into this caramelly sweet middle. Um, a little bit of dryness on the back end of the palate. I will say that the flavor profile is fairly short. And then you get into, um, so you get those sweet notes in there, and then you get the that sherry in there. Um, so you get some of those dark fruits, a little bit of that dryness on the palate. I will say that the whole palate experience is fairly dry forward on the tongue. The mouth feel is a dryness. Um, push into the finish you get a little bit of just a hint of oak on there um you know no smoke no no peat or anything like that just just a really nice well blended flavor profile you do get some of those fruit notes in there the nose hasn't really changed at all Yeah, that, there's a really nice sweet caramel middle to it, like a malty caramel that's in there. So like if you imagine, say like a malted milk ball, like a Whopper, and pulled away the chocolate and added caramel to it, that's kind of the flavor that I kind of get out of it. It's really, really nice. I highly encourage you, go out and pick up a bottle of this. Here in Wyoming, uh, I was able to pick this up for $24.39. Extremely accessible. Um, like I said, just by happenstance, my wife and I just happened to have grabbed this and then that Noble Oak Bourbon, you know, same company had its hand in both of them. 
uh, pure chance and um, you know basically pure chance based on price like they weren't breaking the bank we're like hey let's give these a try super happy with both of them they're very nice easy sipping whiskeys uh, this particular if you're looking for a really nice uh, introductory type scotch something like if you're not really into scotch yet and you want something that'll treat you nice has those nice sweet characteristics easy sipping i highly recommend picking this up for 25 bucks i mean come on why not it's very similar to the monkey shoulder and flavor profile so those blended scotches um tend to have a pretty nice well-rounded profile when you can find good ones so there you go uh if you haven't already check me out on bitshoot at life and whiskey uh, minds.com uh, life underscore and underscore whiskey uh, if you're not already subscribed on those check those out would be happy to interact with you there. going to start moving more and more content away from youtube and over onto those two platforms um also putting a lot of, more of my life content up on those other platforms going to keep all politics and just Pretty much everything but the whiskey reviews over on those channels uh, because they don't censor like YouTube does. So that way I don't have to worry about maybe someday showing up and having my channel erased for no good reason. Um, so yeah, check them out. Uh, let me know what you think. Drop in the comments below. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe here on YouTube. Also subscribe on those channels. Um, and I would appreciate any feedback you have. If you can, let me know what you can pick up a bottle of the Naked Grouse for in your area down in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. Have yourselves a great day.